Hi, I'm Mike Hodgetts from Delving Designs and welcome to this 10 part tutorial series for Blender 4.0 on rigging a motorbike. In this series we're going to create a full rig from start to finish uh, which features a number of options such as uh, proper suspension controls, we have a steering function which also has uh, dynamic tilting and leaning into corners. We've got a drift function where we can drift around the, the front wheel. It also features uh, correct ground detection so that the bike will automatically detect our ground. Um, and also if I turn this off you can see our axle function which is moving up and down and we can also control the softness or hardness of the suspension. So if I turn that all the way up you'll see the suspension is really loose and soft and if I turn this all the way down the suspension doesn't act at all um, on the ground sensors. Now this course is definitely aimed at somebody who already has a good grasp of the fundamentals of Blender however I will try and explain each step as we go. We're not going to be doing any modeling in this series. We're not going to be actually creating any of the models for the bike or this character. Um, we're going to be using some pre-existing models from CG Trader. So this is the, the bike that we're going to be rigging from Poly Productions 55, although I have amended the materials slightly um, on this. And for the character, I'm using this male character from Jamal Alamad 1. Um, there is a few issues in this file with the rig binding. You can see here in this thumbnail that the clothes aren't properly... Um, binding to the the character we're not going to be fixing that in this series um the part where we come to actually adding the rider onto this bike we're just going to be adding the controls to be able to add a character onto the bike and make them follow the the bike itself um so this course won't be doing any rigging for a character there is i'm sure plenty of other tutorials that cover that sort of thing so if I open up the file, um, the motorbike file as is, and apart from seeing the, um, the social links here, which do check these out because I think Poly Productions are a really good artist, they're, they're really good. Um, you'll see that we've got the motorbike here, and if we look at the actual model, each of the um, parts of the bike are actually separated by their material which isn't really what we want uh, because that's going to make it very hard to control the uh, the rig. We could simply take all of these, join them all together and then control everything via vertex groups. But I find that when you're doing mechanical rigging where each of the parts are um, they're just going to be rotating or moving, they're not actually going to be bending or deforming, I prefer to have each of them as their own separate object um, rather than having them as separate parts. So what we can do is if we start with the wheels for instance, let's go into edit mode, select all of this, P to separate, separate by selection, um, and I can just actually separate these pieces with L, separate those out, I can take the brake disc, separate that out, and join it to the wheel with control J and we can just continue like this for the entire uh, part of the bike just separating all of these out with P and then control J to join them and so on until we separate out each of the elements of our bike for this bike in particular we're going to be wanting the front and back wheels obviously the, the main kind of body or frame, the back suspension here, the front suspension, and of course the handlebars as well, as well as the shock absorbers, uh, the shock absorber at the back for the spring and the bottom and the top part. You can obviously use this bike, um, or, but if you're doing your, your own bike um, or a different model, you need to take a few moments just to analyze your, your model and to figure out 
which parts need to be separated out and which parts are going to be deforming and moving. So if I open up this file, don't save that, you'll see here this is the uh, finished result of me doing that. We've got the body, the two different brake lines. I've separated these out into thin and thick parts, um, which are going to be helpful later because we're actually not going to use this geometry um, to deform. We're actually going to turn these into curves later on. We've got the handlebars, the bottom of the shock absorber, the spring and the top of the shock absorber, the suspensions, and as of course the the wheels. Um, it's also important to note that you want to make sure that your origin point, the orange dot on your models, is centered perfectly around the rotation points of your objects. Now this isn't strictly 100% necessary, but it is going to make the task of placing bones a lot easier to do. Um, to do this, if you've got, for instance, your model and you know the origin point is over here, we can just recenter this by going into edit mode and I'm going to, holding alt, just select this loop here and this loop on this side, control s, cursor to selected and then set origin to 3D cursor and now it is perfectly aligned in that center. I'm just going to undo that because I already had it. There we go. Um, perfectly aligned. Again, it's not in strictly necessary that you do this, but it will make the task of placing bones a little bit easier. Um, I've also got a collection in this file called widgets, which is just a single collection of various different meshes that are just single edges, no faces. Um, which I'm going to use as custom bone shapes for our controls. So you can see here we've got the ground axle, the drift, the main root bone, the steering, and the suspension control. Um, I will have a, I will upload this as a Dropbox link, and the link will be in the description if you would like to follow along with this tutorial with this specific bike. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this part. We're gonna you need to make sure that you've prepared your model. Um, so join me in part two, where we're going to start the real fun of actually creating the rig. Thanks.